The time has come to get out of this madness once and for all. What madness is that? Well, for God's sake, George, how long have you been in the army? Well, me? Oh, I joined up straight away, sir. August the 4th, 1914. Oh, what a day that was. Myself and the rest of the fellows leapfrogging down to the Cambridge recruiting office and then <laughs> playing tiddlywinks in the queue. <laughs> We'd hammered Oxford's tiddlywinkers only the week before, and there we were, off to hammer the bosh. Crashingly superb bunch of blokes. Fine, clean-limbed. Even our acne had a strange nobility about it. <laughs> yes, and how are all the boys now? Oh, well, uh, Jocko and the Badger bought it at the first Ypres, unfortunately. Quite a shock, that. I remember Bumfluff's housemaster wrote and told me that <laughs> Sticky had been out for a duck and the gubber had snitched a parcel sausage end and gone goose over stumps frogside. <laughs> Meaning? <laughs> I don't know, sir, but I read in the Times that they'd both been killed. <laughs> and Bumfluff himself? Copped a packet at Gallipoli with the Aussies. So did Drippy and Strangely Brown. <laughs> on the first morning of the Somme when Titch and Mr. Floppy got gassed back to Blighty. Which leaves? Gosh, yes, I... I suppose I'm the only one of the Trinity Tiddlers still alive. <laughs> Lummy, there's a thought, and not a jolly one. My point exactly, George. A chap I get a bit miz. If it wasn't for the thought of going over the top tomorrow... Right, sir, permission to get weaving. Permission granted. Thank you, sir. All right. Captain Bay, this is a crisis. A large crisis. In fact, if you've got a moment... It's a 12-storey crisis with a magnificent entrance hall carting throughout 24-hour portridge and an enormous sign on the roof saying this is a large crisis. A large crisis requires a large plan. Get me two pencils and a pair of underpants. <laughs> right, Bullrick. This is an old trick I picked up in the Sudan. We tell HQ that I've gone insane and I will be invalided back to Blighty before you can say a wibble. <laughs> Poor gormless idiot. Well, I'm a poor gormless idiot, sir, and I've never been invalided back to Blighty. <laughs> yes, Lordy, but you never said a wibble. <laughs> ask me some simple questions. Right. What is your name? Wibble. <laughs> what is two plus two? Oh, wibble, wibble. <laughs> Where do you live? London. Hey? A small village on Mars, just outside the capital city. Wibble. <laughs> All the men present and correct, sir. Ready for the off, eh? 